State's attorneys that put their ideology over the rule of law are not satisfying their oath of office. I do think that some of these prosecutors that have very militant agenda in terms of ideology have been able to get away with a lot in other states. So we've had prosecutors around this country that think they can pick and choose which laws to enforce. And so he may have thought because they get away with it in Los Angeles, they get away with it in Baltimore, that he could do this stuff in Florida and not on my watch, not as long as I'm sitting in the chair I'm in. We're going to take action, decisive action, to protect the people of the state. On my watch. Let's welcome to the show Congressman Lee Zeltzer from House Financial Services. He's running on the GOP ticket to be governor of New York. It's so good to see you, sir. Thanks for coming on. Great to be with you. So Governor Ron DeSantis, he got rid of Soros-backed prosecutor Andrew Warren. He suspended him. He's been nonstop politicizing the justice system in Tampa, picking and choosing on his own which laws are valid and which laws that he was going to refuse to enforce, laws that George Soros apparently doesn't like. You were recently the victim of an attack. What are your thoughts about this story? If you want to be a district attorney, then you have to understand that DA stands for that, doesn't stand for defense attorney. If you see that there's a law that's on the books that you disagree with as a DA, you bring your argument to the state capitol and you can advocate for a change in a law. But until that law is changed, you have a duty to uphold the laws of your state. And as we're seeing in Florida, we see in California, we certainly have it in Manhattan with the Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg. You have people who have decided on their own as the prosecutor, they're just not going to enforce all different laws across the board and others they'll treat as lesser offenses. Uh, and there needs to be consequences for that because they're not upholding their oath. You know, go, excuse me, Congressman, we, a disturbing track record here. He let go criminals, including a career criminal who shot up a house with a family and children inside. He let go dozens arrested in the rioting 2020. And then he arrested, a, he got arrested a pastor for holding a church service during the pandemic, uh, while murder rates are now spiking to levels not seen since 1994. That's what's happening in Tampa. Yeah, that right there, case closed, uh, that you have somebody who's refusing to do their job and they have to go. The governor of the state has a duty to provide for safety of the public. The governor has to get involved. I would argue that Governor DeSantis has not just the constitutional authority to get involved, he has a constitutional obligation to get involved. You know, New York State, we don't have recall elections. The governor, under the New York State Constitution, has the authority to remove a DA who refuses to enforce the law. I would argue that's not just an authority, it's a responsibility. Yeah, yeah. to your point, it's an important one, Congressman. You, you swear an oath to defend and protect your citizens, right? I mean, the Polk County Sheriff, Grady Judd in Florida, said he's spoken to sheriffs from the largest jurisdictions across the nation. He says, quote, they tell him we've got a dumpster fire going on in America and Americans are getting burned by prosecutors like Warren in New York, in L.A., in New Orleans, Baltimore. We can go on and on. But let's watch Warren complain here. Watch this. This is attack on everybody's rights. It's not just the elected officials who should be worried. It's the voters. People get to choose who they put in positions of uh, elected positions. And when the governor says, I don't like what you said, or I don't like what you're doing, and so I'm just going to throw you out of office, that is a violation of our democracy, plain and simple. It feels like hyperbole, a little hysteria there. He was suspended. Your reaction? The requirement is for the DA to do their job and to enforce the law. You know, it's not a power move. I've said that if elected governor on day one, I would remove Alvin Bragg. It's not to replace him with some Republican friend of mine. We're talking about the county of New York. We're talking about Manhattan. Right. And if you're it reaching out to the local elected officials, the only litmus test is, will the person do the job? That's right. not you know, politics. it's about something bigger. It's about something bigger. Thomas Sowell pointed out. We're letting prosecutors and judges put themselves above the voters and state legislatures picking and choosing which laws to enforce. That's, right. That's bad for America. Final word. Yeah, no, absolutely. That, that's absolutely right. It's the duty for the law-abiding citizen who wants to be in charge of their streets. It's the will of the people that these laws got enacted in the first place. Got it. Congressman Lee Zeldin, come, come back soon. Have a good weekend.